Cell penetrating peptides, CPPs, are short peptides that are cationic, meaning they contain many positively charged amino acids. CPPs have the ability to enter cells and can bring along diverse cargoes for experimental or therapeutic purposes. But how do CPPs enter cells? They use two ways. They can cross the plasma membrane directly. This is called direct translocation or they can be engulfed via endocytosis. If CPPs enter cells by endocytosis, they may reach the cytosol by a process called endosomal escape. Let's start with CPP direct translocation. Cells express potassium channels that move positively charged potassium ions outside of cells. The outside surface of the plasma membrane becomes more positively charged than its inside surface which sets up a negative electrical potential across the membrane. When CPPs bind to the plasma membrane, they also bring positive charges on the cell surface. The membrane potential therefore goes further down, reaching very negative values, minus 150 millivolts and below, a state called megapolarization. Megapolarization triggers the formation of water pores that the CPPs use to enter cells. As the CPP moves into the cytosol, it brings positive charges inside the cells. This dissipates the strong negative plasma membrane potential and the water pore collapses. The formation of water pores is therefore transient and does not affect the cell viability. CPPs can also be endocytosed via a newly discovered pathway that requires Rab14, unlike classical endocytosis, that's regulated by Rab5 and Rab7. After the CPP containing endosomes are formed, the Rab14 proteins bind to them, and this allows the recruitment of the EEA1 tethering protein. This allows maturation of the CPP containing endosomes to LAMP1 positive vesicles that are non acidic and probably non degradative. A still debated issue is how good CPPs are at escaping endosomes. Studying endosomal escape is complicated by the fact that CPPs can also reach the cytosol by direct translocation. However, when the plasma membrane is depolarized artificially, direct translocation is blocked, but CPP uptake via endocytosis proceeds normally. This allows studying the process of endosomal escape without possible confounding effects due to direct translocation. In depolarizing conditions, despite good endocytic uptake, CPPs fail to access the cytosol. This means CPPs mainly enter the cytosol via direct translocation across the plasma membrane and not through endosomal escape. Finding ways that permit CPPs to escape endosomes could help improving the cell delivery capacities of CPPs. Several laboratories across the world are working on this using different strategies.